In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Google Drive into make.com so that you can run scenarios and integrations between different tools that use either Google Drive or Google Mail and other Google services. So the first thing you want to do is see this documentation where it shows you basically if you if you've got a Google if you've got a Google Workspace account, then you can connect really easily. It's just a case of clicking it and connecting and authorizing within make.com. But if you want to actually connect an account that is a standard Gmail account and it's not a paid account, then you are gonna to have to go through these extra loops just to get it set up. So what you do is come down, you can follow this guide or you can follow this video and it's gonna tell you exactly how to do it here. So obviously if you've got non Gmail or Google Mail domain, domains, then you need to show the advanced settings. So we're gonna go through that today here. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is actually go to Google Cloud Console and you're gonna create an account if you don't already have one. I'm doing this from scratch. I've done it before on other accounts, but I'm gonna do it completely from scratch just so you can see exactly how to do it. There we go, so I'm just gonna sign up. Okay. Great, okay, I think it's done. So what we're gonna do is create a project, new project, enter the project name and select the location. So new project, project name, I'm gonna call it make connection, create. We can see it's creating the project. Okay, let's go into the project. So next up, what you're gonna to want to do is select the location for the project. We've done that, click create. We didn't actually select the location, we didn't need one. So in the top menu, check, check if your project selected and select the project drop down, and then see the one you've just created. Yeah, okay. So here we are, the new project. And we want to enable the APIs for Google Drive. So to do that, you just go on the left navigation menu, go to APIs and services, and then library. APIs and services, library. Next up, we just need to search for Google Drive API and click enable. API and A. It might just take a second. Okay. So next up, we're going to look at the left sidebar. Go to OAuth consent screen. Under user type, select external. So, OAuth. User type external, create. Information section, and to make as an app name for your Gmail and your Gmail address, make Gmail. In the authorized domain section, add make.com and integramat.com down here, make.com. In the developer contact information section, enter your Gmail address. Okay, so got the email address in there for the contact information. Ooh. That's my wrong email. There we go. Save and continue. So now within the scope section, we need to come back here, grab the two here for drive. It may well be in here actually, I think you could probably search for it. Um, but yeah, just gonna add it now. Now we need to create the Google Drive credentials, client credentials. So on the left sidebar, we're gonna go back to credentials and then OAuth client ID here. So I'm just gonna call it make yeah. We know what that means. In the authorized redirect URI section, add URI and enter the following URL. Click save or create. So now you need to just create um, 
a store somewhere of your client ID and the secret key. This is what we're going to use within make.com to connect to this. So just obviously make a note of those. I'm going to copy them, put them somewhere secure. Just quickly here as well. So whilst you've done the scopes and you've added in the Google Drive scopes, you'll just want to do a test users and the email account for testing as well. Okay. So we'll add that in, click save and continue. Just look at the summary. Everything seems to be okay. So we're going to click connect, show the advanced settings. You want to copy and paste in your client ID. First of all, you want to grab your client secret. Okay. Then click sign in. So I've had a pop up come up. I'm sharing my window at the moment, so you can't see, but it's just when you sign in with Google, it's the pop up. I'm going to click my Google profile. It will ask you whether you want to continue or go back to safety because the app isn't verified, but that's fine. It's just our app. That's all it is. We know what we're using it for. Click continue, continue again to sign in. And it's going to ask you what you want it to have access to. So I'm just going to tip, see and download all of your Google Drive files. Continue. Okay, great. So it's actually found the connection. So what this means is whenever we're doing automations in make.com and we do need to look up files in Google Drive or download a file, uh, find a file, create new folders, any of these sort of processes within Google Drive we can now do within Make. So you'll have this connection there. It will need to it will be, need to be refreshed, I think weekly if it's still in the testing environment, but you can publish it and then you don't need to do that. So then what you do is just you can select from a list and then your files should be in here based on whether you're looking at your drive. So for me, I've got these these templates here. So what this automation is actually doing is it's checking an air table for a record. It's then using a Google Slides template with sort of placeholders that, that we can use to create slide decks. And then those are going to be used in Instagram for business. So you can post them directly to it. So yeah, that's the sort of process I'm working on here. And hopefully that's been helpful. It is a little bit tricky, but if you do it your first time around, you'll realize actually it's just a step-by-step -step process. Uh, you don't need to understand the whole Google Cloud Services uh, section. It's just a case of creating the OAuth consent, getting your secret key, your client ID. Yeah, just going through the steps. So I hope that's been useful. And if you're looking for more tips like this, then you can join my AI Automation Lab, where I go through automations just like this and more. So hopefully to see you in there soon.